Come on, it's the dark, Daddy. You want to see? Yes! 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 Yeah! If you want to see a Muslim boy throwing missiles in a pub covered in St. George's Cross flags, then stick about. Because in this episode, myself and Big Nasty find ourselves competing in a darts competition in Clacton on Sea, the only town in the UK to ever elect a UKIP MP. Now they say that us minorities are always stealing white people's jobs. Damn right. Now, we're coming for your dart. I fucking told you! <laughs> I fucking told you! My name is Alhan Genja, a beige man on a mission to discover the whitest tribes of Britain and understand their curious ways. Join me and my friends as we bravely step foot outside of London and meet the native peoples of this green and pleasant land to find out if it's all right to be white. So for the first time ever, I'm actually on UK sand. I've never been to a UK beach. Wow, it's shit. I've come to Clacton, a town in Essex known for its love of Brexit and its award-winning pier, which is a bit like a bridge, but sure, so that no foreigners can get across. But if there's one thing that these men love, even more than immigration caps, it's darts. I'm here to meet Bobby George, a former darts champion who recently had a pint with Nigel Farage on his GB News show. This is my first course for breakfast. You've been playing darts for how long? 47 years. Mad. We've attracted a crowd. Are you, are you a celebrity around here? We, I brought them with us, so mate, it's little good stuff. It's the entourage, yeah. <laughs> Bobby is famously known as the King of Bling. Now, my man's got so much ice that when he goes through airport security, he must feel like he's Muslim, like me. See all this? It's what we call Ice City. Ice City. Jules win a pity. Jules in the pity. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> now, Bobby may still be hard as fuck at 76, but to me, darts is hardly a real sport. It's more like a pissed up activity for fat blokes in old white man pubs, similar to the fruit machines or the casual racism. Darts is similar to gaming because you don't need to be healthy. It doesn't matter what you drink, it doesn't matter what you eat. Yeah, you've got a good point. But after a full English, Bobby agreed to teach me the game at a local dart shop owned by his mate Terry. Now, this is my wife, Sharon. Hi, Sharon, how are you? So this is your lot shop here? Yeah? Yes, it's cool. been here 25 years. Oh, wow. This was the early days with your Mad. candelabra and your cloak. You can't see it, it's all glitter. There's an artificial diamonds all out on the back. It looks pretty. These are branded flats, look at that. Bobby Dazzler, is that your nickname? No, oh, these ones, look at these. Look. Oh. <laughs> you can mix the purple with the yellow if you put the yellow flight on that. Yeah, it looked pretty. Like a Farage start, isn't it? Yeah. But you recently sat down with Nigel Farage. He's quite good as Adam, so I quite enjoyed it. I had a pint with him. Well, a couple of pints with him. Just practice throwing it. Oh, but that's it. Now throw exactly the same. Exactly. Well, you get them out there and then you see how bad you are. Not easy, but you don't throw bad. The other then. part of the game is you get your own darts out of the board. Yeah, I don't do them. <laughs> I've never thrown a dart in my life, and I was nailing it. But could I compete at the highest levels if I refused to partake in the anabolic steroids of the darts world, pints of beer? I don't drink at all, so... Oh, well, I'm going to go out with you then. <laughs> right. They would like to get darts into the Olympics. They perceive darts as like having a pint before you play. Well, that can be perceived as an enhancement because yeah. it's alcohol. Right. Right, I've got one, that's it now again. Two, Ooh. again, go on, again, same. Oh! Fuck me. Don't know how, I'd rather not. You sure? This Turkish boy was a natural, and I was bang up for stealing some white people's jobs. Are there a lot of brown players? Sorry? A lot of brown players? Brown? Yeah. Yeah, you got that guy from Jamaica and South Africa. Oh, yeah, you, what's his name? De Devon? Yeah, Peterson. Devin, Peterson, that's yeah, it. Yeah, Devon Peterson, yeah. yeah. He's yeah. a good player. Tell me about some of the, the Turkish guys, if there are any. Well, there is, but I can't get, I can't remember, I don't know their names. Put it that way, they're not famous enough, but they're all in the Federation of Darts. Oh, and Genjay. <laughs> What's up, <that>, Bullseye? <laughs> there was a gap in the market. Clearly, I was destined to become the first UK darts champion that didn't vote Brexit. I might challenge you lot to a, a competition tonight. I think I got the gift. You got the gift. It's up to you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm confident. <laughs> See you lot moving a bit shaky. Yeah. I'll be down at the watcher. Yeah. All right, cool. I might we'll even barrack you. <laughs> we agreed to meet for a dart showdown later that evening in the Clacton Railway Club, which was just like a shisha bar, just no shisha and <laughs> no brown people. Terry and his wife Sharon had organized two teams of local darts players for a knockout competition. Bobby couldn't make it. He was clearly shook. For my darts partner, I invited down my boy, Big Nasty. He already put a white TV host out of a job on Channel 4. Perhaps he could do the same in the darts world. 
I found him at the back of the pub by the bins, feeling a bit nervous to go in on his own for some reason. So what you got been collecting on the seat? Obviously, playing darts today. That's that real patriotic game is there though, cuz. The main thing is, just a bunch of white men. We're about to fall victim to real racism tonight. <laughs> so hopefully you don't slash our tires if we can get out of here in one piece. What's your, what's your eye hand coordination like? Boy, but I'm buzzing though. <laughs> yeah, I know. As your, uh, as your, oh. I forgot something. <laughs> the obligatory, the obligatory <laughs> Maybe it was just the beer, but these men seemed friendly enough. We're, just, we're filming, we're filming. Oh. Yeah. So we're playing darts with these men. But how would they react to the black and beige darts takeover? Let's get it, my boy. Let me introduce you to the, the world of darts. Come on, there's the dart, daddy. You want to see? As soon as we walked in, the crowd exploded into horrible, racist cheering and xenophobic smiles. Hello, everyone. Then, Terry and Sharon surprised me and Nasty with our own sets of darts, tailored to our own personal tastes. Horribly racist cultural appropriation or absolutely lovely gesture? I was starting to question my assumptions about these lot. I test them on the board. Let's practice. I wish one of you lads want some. Come on in. Oh, eagle eye. We're up against these men, you know. I'm scared of Eagle Eye. He's the problem. I was set on winning this, but was starting to realise that Nasty's hand-eye coordination might have been slightly impaired for some reason. So I decided to psych out the competition. Oh, obviously, you're watching us play. I can tell you're nervous. Obviously, you've got Channel 4 watching as well, so no pressure. Nah, we'll give it a go. Ooh, shirts. Terry had even got us some team shirts. This Brexit hellhole was making us feel weirdly welcome. First round, we were up against Joe and Joe. The competition was on, but Nasty wasn't. Have a little wiggle wiggle, you know what I mean? Yeah! I hit the ball! How's that? When I do a bulls, I'm gonna get topless in there. I'm telling you. Hey, referee, what the fuck's going on? No, I'm just trying to ring on the office. Sorry, 20 miss. Power. My bad. Terry, where the fuck's 17? The suspense is killing me. <laughs> That's funny, is it? It was, because I'm currently there and you went out there. Did but you win? No. <laughs> 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 You're behind. I'm not behind. The first round was a freshing. So you're my one. Well done, boys. Fair enough. Hello. I got distracted by my burger. Our black and beige darts takeover wasn't going to plan. We went for a team talk with our very own Mourinho, Terry. This, you've got to win this game. You've got one shot at bringing it back. Yeah. Hey, you got to focus on fucking losing. When you go on stage, talk positive, all right? Encourage each other, don't, don't rush it. Trust what what we done today in the shot, remember what we done, yeah. all right? You hit that bullseye because you wanted to hit it. That's the sound of the Irish coming, lads. Next, we were up against the big dogs, Mark Howe, AKA the Eagle Eye, and Clive Moody, who has one of the most fitting surnames in the world. I'm shit myself, though. We're the only ethnic minorities in here, and they're laughing at us right now. Trust me, we had to step it up. Yeah, ouch, I just shank myself. I might get them an alcoholic free beer, just to slow them down a bit. Makes sense. We had this. I was completely confident, but I decided to cheat just in case. You want any alcoholic free beer? Let's see how these men do without their performance enhancing drugs. With this, you're taking away their superpowers. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for the next round? Lads, obviously. Ready? Right, what about drink? Oh, you don't drink? Do you want to. No, I don't drink, oh. mate. Oh, you don't drink people? No. Oh! No racism, everyone's sober. Was I wrong about these lot? Next thing, you're going to tell me they like spicy food. Round two and the only competitors that should have been tested for doping were on my team. You're about to get a lesson there. <laughs> How you look feeling? You sweating? 109. That's a one. Is that your teammate? Yeah. Knackered. 15. I'll beat that. First black darts player in Clapton. Um. Uh. Now, quick darts rundown for those of you that don't know. Both teams start with 501 on the board, and the winner is the first to bring it down to zero. 
Despite my bullying, Clive and Mark were on 100, while Nasty and me were still on 402. Right, let me change up my tech. You know when you just go... Oh, mate, what are you doing? This is our final round. If you don't win this, then we're out of the competition. You shagged it, though, with that fucking mad stuff you did, blood. You needed another partner. You know what I mean? Wait, what's that about? Mate, you've been shagging. The cracks in our team were starting to show. The stress was getting to nasty. His performance enhancing cigarettes were clearly wearing off. 12. What? <laughs> All right, so right now, we're 305. Whereas the boys are 153. All right, Terry, we're fucked. This is us out of the game. But then, our luck began to change. Go on. That bullseye? Is that a bullseye? It's a bullseye. I fucking told you. 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 Did I fucking tell you? We were back in the game, and the crowd were absolutely loving Nasty. If we lost now, we couldn't even blame racism, which is annoying. If I get two bullseyes, I'm down to the boxers. Right, this is the bring back. Oh my God. Oh my God. 28. Whack. No score. My anxiety is sky high. Oh, is that how you No score. Yes! 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 Yeah! Oh! 63. What the fuck are you talking about? No, my God! You know what I want? So basically, we've gone from 150 sighting down to four, and now on three. What are we on four? Two, three. Three. Right, really not. Don't guess me. We're there. We're on four. We're on four. Whack. No score. So if you get another shot, you're going to kiss that guy. All right. All right. No score. So what if I had a normal four? That's four. No, you it? can't. You can't. You have to end on a double. It's racism, I know. Double one. Fuck off, man. Last is not you. Oh, sorry. And just when I thought we were going to become Britain's first champion minority darts team. Fuck. Congratulations. Well, nice man. one. Nice one. Ah, yeah. That's pain. You are looking at your first professional black darts, man. <laughs> well done, Nast. Come on. Fuck it, man. We lost. Look, I was sweating like a professional sportsman. <laughs> we should eat oranges. <laughs> Maybe I had a little way to go before I could become the Turkish Tiger Woods of darts, but I felt like I'd found my sport. Thank you, everybody, for having me in your pub and it's been emotional. I had come to a place that I thought was full of prejudice, but turns out the prejudices were mine all along because this white tribe of St. George's cross waving pub people had all been absolute sweethearts, especially Terry and Sharon. Oh, that's been a great day. Yeah, amazing. Mark, absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Oh, I'm choked. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, KDL's got a new meaning now. I know. Bear darts landing. Bear darts <laughs> landing. <laughs>